Hi, welcome to ADI Technical Training, I'm Matthew. In this video, we're looking at how you're going to add a PAC 512 DCI to the PAC, um, PAC Central software. So firstly, the hardware, we need the Comlet PAC 512 um, controller. So in this case, I'm using the um, 909-30154, which is an IP two-door controller. And I have the desktop reader, the 20115, and a reader, I'm just using a standard Mullion reader, a 20111, but you could pick a reader which suits your application. So with the hardware, we purchased the hardware from ADI, we need to get some software for that to work. If we go to GDX pack, uh, packgdx.com, products and resources, go to Access Central, and at the bottom here, we can download the Pack Central software and we can also download the admin, the USB drivers for the desktop reader. When you download the software, you need to get a serial number and you'll you have to phone Pack Tech Support for that um, and they'll give you a serial number so you can um, get the software up and running. Okay, so with everything installed on my side, I've already installed the software, I've licensed it, I've installed the USB um, drivers, and they're ready to go. I can simply launch um, Pack Central. So firstly, we need to add the hardware to the system. That means we need to know the IP address of the controller. So let's go to Tools and Launch External Tools, Configure Device IP Addresses, and pack IP controllers. Now you can see it's found a controller here. Uh, the controller is on the same network as my device, my laptop, um, it's in the same subnet. Um, and that's something you need to do. You need to make sure it's gonna be within the same range. Um, I'm just gonna turn off um, DHCP. I'm gonna use the following IP address. It, it's static. That means if there's a power cut and it comes back on, it won't acquire a new address. It's always gonna be on the same address. So let's give it an address, 192. So I've given it the, the usual details I would use in my area, in my, in my demo room in this case. Click OK. It's going to apply those changes. Configured, click OK. You can see now auto IP is off and the IP address is correct and subnet and gateways all um, configured. So that's the controller details. We know the controller the IP address. So I click OK and close that window. Now we need to go to hardware. So how the system works, the 512, there's two types of 512. There's a 512 DCI and a, and a simple 512. The 512 DCI has a, an ethernet connector on, on board that we, we would call that the, the channel because that's the main connection type and controllers that hang below that DC, they, they physically wire to the DCI controllers on RS-485. So to add a master controller, a top controller, that's called a channel. So let's click on um, new and create new channel. And we just need to give it some details. So what name is it? So imagine you're doing a large, a large office block. You know, you've got multiple stories. Maybe this is floor one, floor two, floor three. That's the controller that's in charge of all the other controllers on that floor. Or maybe it's in an area. It could be goods in. It could be the warehouse. It could be the staff room. It, 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 you need to give it a name where you can find it easily. Um, I've only got the one, so I'll just call it demo. Um, Connection type, this would be um, TCIP. It's a 500 series. Um, the computer name, that's the name of my computer here. And then it's IP address. Now we know the IP address because we just typed it in. But if we go to search, it brings up this window here and we can see the controller I've just added. Um, it's IP address and serial number. So let's select that and then click on add. And then now at the top, we've got the connector, which is called demo. So let's put that there. And then let's do a channel probe. 
so now we've we've got the connector and it's been confirmed that the details here are correct. So let's now go to um, create a new controller. And this is the actual access controller we're, we're adding to the system now. Um, we'll call this um, source controller. And description, we're going to say it's on the board. You might say it's on in the warehouse, or it's, it's in the main cupboard. Give it, give it a location so you can find it. What type is it? It's 512 DCI. The channel it's connecting to, the IP, is demo. That's its channel. So all that information is correct. Let's click on Add. Um, we'll get the doors and just drag that into there. Yeah. And then just expand on that. So now we have um, two doors added, door one and door two. So let's click on door one. And we'll just change the name of that to something a bit easier. Um, door one. Description, well, if you want, like I say, you can narrow it down, it might be the, um, the door leading into the area or the door leading out, the green door, the blue door, the red door, whichever. Um, the door profile, that's when we're giving free access, so there is none. Access, what type is it? It's a proxy, it's a pack reader. I'm using a, a GS3 HF. However, there's no option for that. It's either Wigand, Magstripe, or um, Pack. So I'm going to leave it as Pack. Sig A, when you're wiring this up, Sig A and Sig B is reader in or reader out. Well, this is a reader in from the outside, and Sig A. It's a general access reader, or oh, the profile would be um, reader mode. This is a default. Um, update that. Yep. And if using door two, uh, same procedure again, put some details in there. Now we just need to um, go to the demo and we're going to right click and download channel database. And what that does is it sends the information to the controller to tell it its new um, setup and configuration. Now with the doors and channels added, we can start about adding um, some more details. As within the access control system, we need a time zone and an access level. It comes predetermined with um, time zones. As you can see here, click on time and modes. Um, we have a simple weekday 9 till 5 and a simple week uh, weekend 9 till 5. Um, let's create a new one. And we're going to call it Shift 1. Description is day. And when, when's the Shift 1? We'll say from 6 till 6. Um, Right click and copy that. Let's try that. Right click, copy, paste, paste. So that's Monday to Friday, um, six till six, and they work on the Saturday too, six till six till one. Let's drag that all the way to there. And we just created um, a bespoke um, time zone, um, Monday to Friday, 6 till 6. Saturdays are 6 till 1. So let's add that. You can see it's added now. It's called Shift 1. We've got the time zone. Let's create an access group. So I'll go to Access Groups. You've already got some here. Access all areas with no time restriction. Access there is weekdays and weekends. Let's create a new one. Again, we'll call this one Shift 1. The description. Access rights. Let's click on Profile 1. Access rights are Shift 1. They come from the outside. And click on Add. So now we've created an access group, and the access group means people can come in through um, from the outside areas, and they're allowed in uh, on the time zones we've just specified.
So with all that done, we can now go about the process of adding a user to the system. The um, as I said initially at the video, at the start of the video, you need to add a desktop reader for this system to work. So if you've added the reader and it's configured, we can just go to Tools and configure peripherals and we just need to say the desktop reader which i've got plugged in is on com port 3 and it's ready to go so now we can just test that this is working and we do that by presenting a card to the reader and it should bring up some numbers so let's give that a go there we go there's some assisted numbers we know it's working it's configured so let's close that so let's now go to key holders. I'm going to click on new, create a, a, a key holder. It will, when the card valid from until, if there isn't one, it's constantly, then don't populate that. Category, staff. Personnel details, if you need to add an EID number, the employment number, the birthday, and things like that, populate it here. The, the important one is keys. We need to add a new key. So add a new key. This is the token, the credential. Um, it's a OneProx token, smart card. Let's present that. There's a number. Let's add that. And then finally, to make this work, we need to go to access groups put them in shift one and update. And there we are, we've added a controller to the pack access central software. We've configured a door, we've added the readers and we've enrolled uh, a person into the system and it's now ready to go. Thanks very much for watching. All the products mentioned in this training video can be found on our website. Links are below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much.